so I don't have a, I don't believe in a God. Right? However, um, I don't like the, uh, the, the, the antagonism that, 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 that occurs or is produced by this question. I mean, what you can say if you're, if you're a cosmologist, what you should say is, so, so we know that the universe was very hot and dense 13.8 billion years ago. Uh, we don't know how it got hot and dense. We don't even know, actually, if the universe had a beginning in time. Don't know. About 13.75 billion years ago, our universe came into existence. Soon after, primordial light began to spread through the cosmos, illuminating the early universe. During this period, the universe also expanded rapidly, but this inflation slowed after the initial burst. However, since then, the expansion rate has been steadily increasing due to the influence of dark energy. But have you ever wondered what lies outside our universe? Famous physicist Brian Cox suggests that what lies beyond the universe could be truly terrifying. So what might exist outside our observable universe? Let's explore five theories. The concept of what lies beyond our universe, often referred to as the Hubble volume or the observable universe, is a fascinating exploration of the limits of human understanding and scientific inquiry. This theory delves into the extent of what we can observe and theorize about the vast expanse that surrounds us. Firstly, defining the universe itself is a complex task. We commonly refer to the observable universe, which is the part of the universe that we can see from Earth. This visibility is constrained by the speed of light. Since light has a finite speed, the farther away an object is, the longer it takes for its light to reach us. Therefore, our observational limits are set by the distance light has traveled since the beginning of the universe, approximately 13.75 billion years ago. Cosmologists estimate that the farthest light we can detect has traveled about 45 to 47 billion light years from its source due to the universe's expansion over time. This figure results in an observable universe diameter of about 93 billion light years. Within this vast region lies all the celestial phenomena we know of, quarks, quasars, stars, planets, nebulae, and black holes, captured by telescopes and other observational tools. This observable universe, however, only includes light that has had enough time to reach us. Any objects beyond this horizon remain invisible to us due to the limitation imposed by the speed of light. Despite the finite scope of our universe, astronomers and physicists speculate about what lies beyond its boundaries. One prevailing hypothesis is that the universe may be much larger than what we can observe. This unseen universe, potentially infinite in extent, could mirror the observable universe in its composition and distribution of matter and energy. This theory suggests that if we were to travel far enough beyond our observable limit, we might encounter regions where galaxies, stars, and even planets resembling our own Earth exist. The concept extends further into the idea of Hubble volumes, theoretical volumes of space similar to our observable universe, but potentially distinct in their evolutionary paths. Within these volumes, which could be infinite in number, exist alternate versions of ourselves, reflecting every conceivable action or choice we might make. This speculation arises from the profound implications of an infinitely expanding and possibly infinite universe, where the vastness of space allows for the repetition of physical conditions and events. The theory also grapples with the nature of space-time itself, as described by the theory of relativity. Objects within our local universe are bound by the cosmic speed limit, the speed of light, yet the space between them can expand faster than light speed leading to galaxies moving away from each other faster than light can travel between them. This expansion underscores the impossibility, according to current physics, of physically reaching or interacting with regions of space beyond our observable universe using conventional means. Attempts to conceptualize what lies beyond our visible universe often lead to considerations of exotic possibilities, such as wormholes or warp propulsion, methods theoretically capable of transcending traditional space-time constraints, However, these ideas remain firmly in the realm of science fiction due to their speculative nature and the immense technological and theoretical challenges they present. In 2008, astronomers made a startling discovery that challenged conventional understanding of cosmic structure and motion. 
Clusters of galaxies were observed moving cohesively in a specific direction at incredibly high speeds, over 2 million miles per hour. This phenomenon, dubbed dark flow, introduced a new layer of complexity to our perception of the universe's large-scale dynamics. The initial observation of dark flow emerged from meticulous studies of giant galaxy clusters, each comprising thousands of galaxies interwoven with hot gas emitting X-rays. These clusters, among the largest coherent structures in the universe, serve as ideal subjects for exploring gravitational interactions and cosmic dynamics. To uncover the mysteries of dark flow, scientists utilized a sophisticated technique involving the interaction of X-rays emitted by galaxy clusters with the cosmic microwave background, or CMB radiation, a remnant of the Big Bang itself. This interaction, known as the tsunayev zeldovich kinetic effect, occurs when X-ray photons from the cluster scatter into the CMB, causing observable shifts in temperature. The groundbreaking discovery of dark flow wasn't a solitary revelation, but rather a culmination of detailed observations and analysis. Alexander Kashlinsky, leading a research team at NASA's Goddard Space Flight Center, played a pivotal role in identifying and studying this phenomenon. Kashlinsky's team meticulously examined approximately 700 galaxy clusters located up to 6 billion light years away, a substantial portion of the observable universe. Their findings were corroborated by comparing these clusters' motions against the detailed map of the CMB, generated by NASA's Wilkinson Microwave Anisotropy Probe, or WMAP satellite. This comparison underscored a consistent and unexpected pattern. Galaxy clusters were indeed moving with significant velocity in a shared direction across vast cosmic distances. The observed motion of galaxy clusters challenged existing theories about the distribution of mass and gravitational influence in the universe post-Big Bang. Traditional models had predicted a more uniform distribution of cosmic structures on large scales, yet dark flow suggested a coherent and direct movement of clusters towards a common point beyond our observable universe. One plausible explanation put forth by astronomers is the gravitational influence exerted by massive structures located outside the Hubble volume, the sphere within which we can observe cosmic phenomena due to the finite speed of light. This hypothesis posits that these external gravitational influences, possibly emanating from structures beyond our known universe, are responsible for the observed dark flow. The concept of dark flow implies a universe far more complex and interconnected than previously envisioned. It suggests the existence of vast, unseen structures, possibly stretching infinitely, that exert gravitational pulls capable of influencing the movement of galaxy clusters across billions of light years. These hypothetical structures outside our Hubble volume could vary immensely in form and composition. They might range from colossal accumulations of matter and energy on unimaginable scales to enigmatic fault lines conducting gravitational forces from adjacent or parallel universes. This speculative framework opens doors to contemplating the nature of cosmic connectivity and the potential intersections between our observable universe and realms beyond. Despite its profound implications, dark flow remains a contentious topic within the astronomical community. Skeptics argue that the observed phenomenon might be an artifact of systematic errors in observational techniques or interpretations rather than an actual manifestation of cosmic dynamics. Critics also challenge the notion of massive external structures influencing dark flow, pointing to the need for further empirical evidence and refined theoretical frameworks. The concept of infinity bubbles, or multiverse theory, represents one of the most provocative and intellectually stimulating hypotheses in contemporary cosmology. It challenges conventional notions of a singular, observable universe by proposing the existence of multiple, coexisting universes, each with its own distinct physical laws and constants. This exploration delves into the intricacies of multiverse theory, examining its origins, implications, and ongoing debates within the realm of theoretical physics and cosmology. The groundwork for multiverse theory stems from attempts to reconcile fundamental questions about the universe's structure and evolution following the Big Bang. According to prevailing cosmological models, the universe underwent a rapid inflationary expansion in its infancy, exponentially increasing in size over an incredibly brief period. This period of inflation, postulated by theorists like Alan Guth and Andre Lind, set the stage for the formation of vast cosmic structures and the distribution of matter observed today. Within the framework of inflationary cosmology, 
the notion of eternal inflation emerged, a concept suggesting that inflationary processes could occur continuously in localized regions of space. As a consequence, these inflationary pockets could spawn distinct domains or bubbles within the fabric of space-time, each encapsulating its own universe with unique physical properties. The term infinity bubbles encapsulates the idea that within an infinite universe, countless regions, each resembling a self-contained universe, may exist. These bubbles, arising from quantum fluctuations or random variations during inflation, represent independent entities governed by their own laws of physics. Crucially, each universe within this multiverse framework maintains consistency with the known laws of physics, including constants such as the speed of light, gravitational constant, and others. In this conceptualization, the vastness of space-time allows for the coexistence of an infinite number of universes, each occupying its own bubble of existence. Despite their infinite nature, the distance between these bubbles expands over time due to ongoing cosmic expansion, rendering traversal between them impossible. Even if one could surpass the boundary of one bubble, the intervening space would continue to expand faster than any conceivable velocity. Multiverse theory posits a scenario where the concept of infinity transcends traditional boundaries of human comprehension. It suggests that beyond our observable universe lies a cosmic tapestry of infinite diversity, each bubble representing a unique instantiation of physical laws and cosmic conditions. This diversity prompts contemplation of universes vastly different from our own, where the very fabric of reality might unfold in radically unfamiliar ways. Within each bubble universe, Theoretical physicists speculate on the potential for varied forms of matter, energy, and even dimensions beyond the familiar four-dimensional space-time continuum. These speculations range from universes governed by alternative laws of gravity or electromagnetism to those harboring exotic forms of matter or entirely novel physical forces. Critically, the feasibility of empirically verifying multiverse theory remains a contentious subject within the scientific community. Unlike other cosmological hypotheses that lend themselves to observational testing or experimental validation, the nature of infinity bubbles presents inherent challenges. Observational constraints limit our ability to directly detect or interact with other universes, as their spatial separation and the limitations imposed by the speed of light preclude direct observation. Proponents of multiverse theory argue for indirect evidence or theoretical consistency as grounds for acceptance. They point to observations of cosmic microwave background radiation, gravitational wave detections, and the distribution of matter on cosmic scales as potentially reflecting the imprint of inflationary processes and the existence of multiple universes. Beyond its scientific implications, multiverse theory invites philosophical reflection on the nature of existence, reality, and the human quest for understanding. It prompts questions about the uniqueness of our universe, the potential for parallel realities, and the implications for our cosmic significance within a vast and potentially infinite multiverse. Moreover, the notion of infinity within multiverse theory challenges conventional conceptions of physical limits and cosmic boundaries. It compels us to reconsider the very essence of reality and the extent to which our current scientific paradigms can accommodate such expansive and intellectually daring propositions. Despite its allure, multiverse theory faces substantial criticism and skepticism within scientific circles. Critics argue that the theory lacks empirical testability and may rely too heavily on speculative extensions of existing theoretical frameworks. The absence of direct observational evidence for alternate universes remains a significant hurdle, prompting calls for caution in embracing multiverse concepts as definitive explanations for cosmological mysteries. Alternative interpretations of cosmic structure, such as the one-universe hypothesis or alternative inflationary models, offer competing perspectives on the origin and evolution of the universe without invoking the complexity of multiple universes. These theories emphasize parsimony and empirical validation as guiding principles in cosmological inquiry, challenging the expansive scope of multiverse theory within the scientific discourse. The concept of black holes has long fascinated physicists and astronomers alike, offering a glimpse into the extremes of gravity and the profound effects they exert on space-time. However, physicist Lee Smolin introduced a provocative idea that ties the existence of black holes to the creation and evolution of multiple universes, a theory known as the Fertile Universes Hypothesis. This exploration delves into the intricacies of Smolin's theory, 
its implications, and the subsequent debates within the scientific community. Lee Smolin proposed the theory of fertile universes as a novel approach to understanding the origin and diversity of cosmic environments. Central to this hypothesis is the role of black holes, which are regions of space where gravity is so intense that not even light can escape. According to Smolin, each black hole within our universe could potentially give rise to a new universe. Smolin suggests that when a massive star collapses into a black hole at the end of its life cycle, the intense gravitational forces within the black hole singularity could trigger the formation of a new universe. This process, hypothesized to occur within the event horizon of the black hole, would initiate the expansion of a new space-time domain with its own set of physical laws and constants. Crucially, each new universe born from a black hole would exhibit slight variations in its physical laws and fundamental constants compared to its parent universe. These variations arise from the conditions prevailing within the black hole at the moment of the universe's inception. Smolin's hypothesis thus posits a natural selection mechanism where universes that are conducive to the formation of black holes, due to favorable physical laws, tend to perpetuate and proliferate through this reproductive process. In analogy to biological evolution, Smolin's theory suggests that universes capable of generating black holes are more likely to reproduce and persist over cosmic timescales. Conversely, universes lacking conditions that lead to a black hole formation might be less viable and could, in theory, become extinct over time. This evolutionary framework introduces a dynamic perspective on the diversity of universes within a hypothetical multiverse. Despite its conceptual elegance, Smolin's theory of fertile universes has encountered some significant challenges and scrutiny within the scientific community. One major critique revolves around the feasibility and observational evidence supporting the direct linkage between black holes and the birth of new universes. The lack of empirical validation and the speculative nature of the hypothesis have prompted skepticism among physicists and cosmologists. Interestingly, Lee Smolin himself has revisited and refined his hypothesis in response to critical feedback and theoretical inconsistencies. He acknowledges that the original formation of the fertile universes theory may have been overly speculative and lacked robust empirical support. As a result, Smolin has revised his perspective to align more closely with empirical observations and theoretical constraints, thereby tempering some of the initial bold claims associated with his earlier proposal. The concept of parallel universes, or the multiverse, stands as one of the most intriguing and speculative ideas in modern theoretical physics. Among the various theories attempting to explain this phenomenon, the framework rooted in string theory offers a particularly compelling perspective. This exploration delves into the complexities of infinitely many parallel universes, their theoretical underpinnings, and the implications they hold for our understanding of the cosmos. String theory suggests that fundamental particles are not point-like, but rather tiny vibrating strings. This theory extends beyond traditional particle physics by proposing additional dimensions beyond the familiar four, three spatial dimensions plus time. Central to the concept of parallel universes within string theory are membranes, often referred to as brains, which exist in higher dimensional space. According to string theory, our universe could be just one of many brains existing within a higher dimensional space-time. These brains can oscillate and interact with each other, much like ripples on the surface of a pond. When two brains collide or interact in specific ways, it's hypothesized that they can give rise to the creation of new universes. The collision or interaction between brains is theorized to produce localized energy densities and disturbances in a higher dimensional space. These disturbances can manifest as a formation of new universes with distinct physical laws and properties. Theoretically, the observed distribution of matter and energy in our universe could be influenced by such brain interactions, offering a potential explanation for cosmic structures and phenomena. One of the most intriguing aspects of the multiverse theory within string theory is its implication for gravity. According to some interpretations, gravity might originate from interactions between our brain universe and other brains within the higher dimensional space. This perspective suggests that gravity, which appears relatively weak compared to other fundamental forces in our universe, could be influenced or mediated by interactions with other universes or dimensions. Despite its theoretical elegance, the concept of infinitely many parallel universes faces significant challenges, one major hurdle is the difficulty in experimentally verifying or observing these higher-dimensional constructs. 
string theory itself remains a framework that has yet to be confirmed through direct experimental evidence, leading to debates within the scientific community regarding its validity and applicability to cosmological questions. So which theory do you think is correct? Tell us in the comments below, and please stay tuned for more videos like this.